Hello Disney Card Toys here taking over the Toys Review Toys channel to show you these sparkling paper dolls. These Anna and Elsa dolls are magnetic dolls with over 25 different outfit combinations. I bought this set on Amazon and I think it was about $12 so it's a pretty good deal. And one nice thing about this set which makes it different from your usual paper dolls or magnetic dolls is it does come with stickers and jewels so you can dress up your dolls permanently if you wanted to with the stickers or you can even peel off the stickers when you're done. This packaging is super pretty. I just love the castle in the background. Arendelle so beautiful. And on the other side, here's all of our magnets. And this is a lot. They're all packaged in these sheets here. So we'll have to spend some time punching them out. All right, if I can just get these magnets out of here. There we go. Do I see Elsa's dress? Now let's get out of this bag. And there's more than just dresses that come with this. There's, it looks like there's snowflakes and accessories. Let's check this out. Okay, here's a dress for Elsa and a shirt for Anna. And then here's Anna's famous dress with Olaf, everybody's favorite snowman. Two skirts for Anna. Here's her coronation dress. This must be for Elsa. And this is definitely Elsa's dress too. Here's everything else that came with the set. That's a pretty big box considering everything's just paper and flat. So there's a lot of packaging. Here's Elsa though. One thing that I really like about the set too is the cartoon pictures of the dolls are really pretty. You can see these are decently thin, but, you know, bendable, but a lot thicker than your normal paper doll, because it is magnetic. And look at Anna, she looks totally different, like a little more blonde and rosy cheeks, but she's really pretty. One thing that is a little interesting is Anna has some more clothes. She has her normal dress with Olaf, and then three different tops and three different skirts, so she can mix and match a lot. But Elsa came with just three dresses, and even that purple one, I don't even remember seeing that in the movie. There are a lot of little accessories though. 30 different snowflakes, 6 flowers for Anna, and then 4 diamonds. And now it's time to set up the dolls. It gets a little bit complicated, so I just wanted to show you this. This set comes with these little tabs, and there's an R for right side, and then an L for left side. So you want to make sure you have everything on the right side, and also there's a front in the back. Too. So make sure you read what the little tab tells you. And the two back pieces, you just kind of overlay them. In this way, you make a nice triangle base so that your magnetic paper doll doesn't fall down. We don't want Elsa tipping over. And ta-da, she is stable. You can set up Anna's base the same exact way, and then we can let the dressing begin. I'm going to put them in their traditional coronation dresses first because I think they are so pretty. So here's Elsa's dress, and she's wearing her gloves. And Anna's dress is really glittery, so a little different from the movie, but very pretty. She looks really good. The Elsa doll already has painted on a crown, so I don't want to make Anna feel left out, so I'll give her this little crown. Now the sisters are dressed and ready for the coronation, even though Elsa really doesn't want to go. That's okay. You can see at the bottom their shoes aren't showing because their dress is so long, but it looks so bare down there. So I'm going to take the little magnets, these extra decorative ones that the set came with. I'm just going to make the base look nice and pretty. You don't want it to be just plain white. So here's four flowers for Anna, and I have so many snowflakes for Elsa. So I'll put some of these on here. No two snowflakes are the same, right? Let's see, yeah. We got some pink and dark blue and more of an aqua blue. This is a bright blue and light blue, and here's another dark blue. Now I'll take off their coronation dresses, and these dolls got to get ready for another scene here. The coronation was pretty short-lived. I think it's time for Elsa to run away. Go, Elsa, go! Live your life! And she comes back, ooh, with her beautiful dress. She made it herself. And look on her hand, she's got a little swirling snowflake. This magnetic dress fits Elsa perfectly. And I love the glittery details down the side of the dress. It looks so realistic. And while Elsa's looking all pretty in her beautiful new blue dress, I think it's time for Anna to meet her friend Olaf. Elsa unknowingly made everything freezing cold, so Anna's got to wear her cloak and her winter hat. Next, I say we jazz up these dolls a little more. There's some jewels that came with the set, and I'm not exactly sure what I should do with these. But I think it'd be really cute if each doll had their own set of earrings. I guess you can only see one ear, though, so we'll just put one on each doll. And you can use these over and over again. If you wanted to, you can peel it off and then stick it back on Anna, or just throw it away and use a new jewel. So there's Elsa. I'll give Anna a beautiful jewel earring too. I'll give her purple because a lot of her outfits are kind of a green and purple and purple goes really well with green. The hard part is getting her hat back on here. 
Just gotta make sure it doesn't hit the earring and we're good to go. On what to do with these stickers. I like the little Elsa sticker. We could put it on Elsa's face so that we can tell her face apart from Anna's face permanently. After you take off these magnets, you don't know whose face this is. I'll put this little Elsa sticker right there and now we know it's hers. Now let's take off these pretty dresses. I still have a couple more outfits to show you. I wanna make sure I show you everything. So they're back to their little jammies or underwear, whatever this is. Let me give you this dark. For Elsa, we're gonna try on this dark purple outfit. There we go, it's like a plum color. Just gonna make sure everything stays. There we go, and make sure it's all lined up. Perfect. The unfortunate thing with this set is you can't put magnets on top of magnets. It just doesn't work that well. So when Elsa's wearing her gloves, she can't hold her scepter. But now, her purple dress, she has no gloves, so I can put something in her hands. Now let's dress up Anna. I'm giving her this kind of light green, this brown creamy colored top. It's got lace in the front, so it's kind of like a corset and a pretty Norwegian style skirt. Here's Anna's outfit. It kind of reminds me of a World War II period dress, just with that almost army green color. And here's a good look at Elsa's purple outfit. It's very pretty, very dark, and I like the little glittery details at the bottom of her skirt. And since I gave Elsa a scepter, I don't want to leave Anna left out, so I'll give her this pretty pink flower one. But if I didn't want to do that, there's a lot of other accessories I can choose from. There's this big bag. You can either put it on her arm like that to hang. Well, we got to see a lot of really cool frozen outfits today with these magnet dolls. Please remember to like and subscribe. Also, let me know what your favorite outfit was. Mine was the one with Olaf because he's so adorable. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, Spider-Man, it is so nice to have a superhero around to twirl and dance with us. And Spider-Man, have you been working out? You look even more buff than usual. Why, thank you, Ariel. Um, I've been a lot more active lately, you know, swinging around the webs and stuff. So, um, anyway, ladies, do you have anything else to do around here besides gliding around in dresses? Maybe something more like guy things to do? Um, uh, well, we do like twirling, but we do have some cars toys we can race those. Alright, cool, that's what I'm talking about. Now let's get racing! I've got this cool little race truck that's yellow with the cool flames on it. And I have this adorable blue Porsche! Yeah, yeah, let's do it! Spider, Spidey, awesome Spidey, racing on the track! So, Spider-Man, which track do you want? The really tall track or the short track? Well, taller is always better, so I want that one. Okay! Alright, I'm gonna take this side of the track. And I'll take this lower but shorter track. Let's get this party started! On your mark, get set, go! Hey, that's not fair. Her track is like half the size of mine. You cheated, Elsa. Well, Spider-Man, you chose that track. You wanted the taller track, and the taller track is much longer than the shorter track. Duh! Woohoo, woohoo, I won! I beat Spider-Man, I beat Spider-Man, I beat Spider-Man. Uh, <clears throat> no fair. I wanted to win. I don't want her to win. That's not cool. Well, why don't you both just race each other? Forget the cars. Elsa, you have your glitter glider dress, and Spider-Man, you're our superhero. Why don't you just race each other? Alright, I'll race Elsa, but I'm probably gonna win because I'm Spidey Spidey awesome. Ouch, that hurt. Hey, he clashed, so I win, right? Either way, this track is just too cramped with both of us. We need to go on separate tracks. Ready to get smoked, Spider-Man? Ready, set, go! Whoa, whoa, oh, ow, ow. Woohoo, look who's super now. Also, I have ice powers. That's way cooler than spider web powers. That wasn't fair either because your dress has wheels and my butt doesn't. <laughs> you guys are funny. Hey, I want to race. And, uh, 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 um, drive the cars down the, uh, the track and, um, race fast and, uh, and, uh, have fun. Oh, I got stuck. Uh, 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 can somebody help me off this ramp? Well, it looks like I won pretty much everything today. That just proves that frozen powers are cooler than spider powers. What do you think? Thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video.
Hey everyone, Felicia and Alex are in need of a bucket for their Halloween candy. So today, we're going to make a Halloween jack-o'-lantern bucket out of Play-Doh. To do this, we're first going to take an orange ball of Play-Doh and form it into the shape of a pumpkin. Then we need to make a hole in the pumpkin shape so that Alex and Felicia will have a place for their candy. And it's easiest just to use your finger or your thumb to make the hole and then round out the edges. Now the next step is to take a safe plastic Play-Doh knife, like this pink knife here, and make lines from the top of the pumpkin to the bottom, and space them out so that you have about eight lines. Now make shorter, shallower lines in between those lines to give the pumpkin its ridged look. Remember, we're going to make a jack-o'-lantern, so the next step is to make the face. Take a little bit of black Play-Doh, and then take a roller if you have one and roll it out very flat. Then peel it off the roller and lay it out. We can make any face on the jack-o'-lantern, so we're just going to make a typical one. Two triangular eyes, an upside-down triangular nose, and a jagged mouth. Here's what the face should look like in the end. The two eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Now just place each piece one at a time onto the pumpkin. This can be a very delicate procedure and somewhat difficult if you have large fingers like me. Now the last piece is the handle, which is pretty simple. Just take another piece of black Play-Doh and roll it out using your fingers. And we want to roll it out like making a snake, but very, very thin. And that's it! Now Felicia and Alex have their own Halloween jack-o'-lantern bucket. This is a fun and simple project you can do with your kids, and it only takes two different colors of Play-Doh. Orange Play-Doh and Black Play-Doh. Mommy, Mommy, thank you for my jack o lantern bucket, but where's the bucket for Alex? Oh, we didn't make one for him. I figured you guys could share this year. What? Share candy? No! Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Hey guys, come here. Look, I've got this amazing Barbie Glam vacation house and I'm going to surprise Vera with it. Vera, Vera, come here. Oh, Elsa, it's so nice of you to have me come help show this house. Well, actually, Vera, I have a surprise for you. <gasps> like what? Well, Vera, not only are you going to help me show off this house, but this house is my gift to you. I wanted to give you a welcome gift for being a brand new princess. We're so happy to have you. <gasps> for me? Just because I am a new princess? <gasps> Thank you, Elsa. I appreciate it and I love it so much. I can't wait to see what's inside. Let's open it up. Morgan, let's open the box. Whoa, Vera, there are a lot of pieces to your house. We better start getting busy here. Vera? Vera? Hey, Vera, are you paying attention? We gotta start building. Vera? Oh, so sorry, Elsa. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the sink right here. It's so perfect for the kitchen, I can tell. Yes, that is a very pretty sink, but Vera, we've gotta focus here. We've got a lot to do. Okay, we can start building now. Let's start with the kitchen since you're so in love with the sink. So I'm going to push. And now we have to put these walls together, Vera. I hope you ate your Wheaties. Ugh, I can do this. I am strong. I am independent. Push. Oh, I'll help too. Mm. Oh, oh. oh, Vera, why don't you try? Thanks so much for your help, Vera. Wow, you're super strong. It's nothing. I work out all the time, Elsa. Okay, we have a lot more building to do. We need to snap all these pieces in place. Snap, snap, snap. Okay, just gotta push this thing right here a little more.
going? Ah, oh, good. It's window time. This purple piece needs to be slid into the window slot. Oh, that's a lovely. Look at Savannah White. Oh, and look at these fence posts. They have a profile picture of Barbie, and they make such a cozy patio. We're going to take this piece, and we're going to attach it on the roof. Look at my roof. So pretty. Now all we need to do is your room, Vera. Finally, the last part and then we're done. And the great thing about this house is we can decide if we want to put your room on the first floor or the second. I can decide? They spared no expense on the design. Look, you have a secret shelf there. And then we'll connect your bed to the walls. I love my new bed. It's time to relax. Enough building. Oh, come on, Vera. We're not done. We can't relax just yet. Okay, and then this goes on the side. Oops. And we have to put the roof on. Thank you for helping me build my room out, so I think it's time to decorate, no? Yeah, we really need to decide if we want to put your room on the first floor or the second. You see, if your bedroom's on the first floor, then it's going to be right next to the kitchen, which is pretty handy. But if you have your bedroom on the second floor, it gives you a little more privacy. If you put your bedroom on the first floor, it gives you a patio on the roof. And also, your bedroom can act as a living room. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's just take a look at the backyard. Tough, tough decisions. This is the backyard. And look right here, we have a window to see into my room. And then we, I have a little puppy. Finally, I have a puppy. So cute. And then we have the... What, what is here? What is Oh, oh, it's a little puppy house. That's great. And then I have a grill so I can cook. And then I have an extra bench to sit on and relax outside. An open window and I can look outside and it would be great. Back to you, Elsa. Oh, and look at this door. It's so cute. It's got a picture of Barbie on it. It opens so easily and let's see if I am short enough for the doorway. And yay, I can fit through. Now I have my favorite part to decorate. We have all these stickers, chairs, plates, cups, everything you can think of. Oh, finally done. It's nice to relax after all that building. Oh yeah, building a whole house isn't easy. If you enjoyed this video and you thought we did a great job building this house together, please click like and subscribe. Also in the comments, let us know if we should put Vera's bedroom on the first floor or the second. Bye! Click on the picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey everyone, it's Fireman Mickey. Don't worry, I'll save, I'll save you. <laughs> Wait a minute, that didn't seem to work. Alright, one more time. Oh no. Well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I guess Mickey better go back to Fireman School. Maybe I can be of service. I have plenty of experience in putting the fires out when George burns his English muffin. Alright, here we go! Well that did not work at all. Let's do it again. Oh my! Well, apparently I am good at putting out fires and home appliances, but not on Barbies. Hey everyone, Fire Truck Meter is here. Does someone need help putting out a small little fire? Alright, Meter's gonna save the day. Yahoo! Oh boy, that's harder than it looks. Well, I guess old Meter here better go back to fire school. Or fire school. Or both. Uh oh, I see a fire on the fridge. Don't worry everyone, it's Dusty Crop Hopper here to save the day. Alright, here I go. And the fire is out. Dusty Crop Hopper at your service. Let's see that again. Wow, well, thanks for saving me. No problem. Don't mention it, ma'am. Dusty Crop Hopper is always here to help. Oh, Dusty, you're my hero. The toy featured in this video is the Plains Fire and Rescue Piston Peak Air Attack featuring Dusty Crop Hopper. This toy features Dusty flying through the air, around the waterfall, and back down over the bridge to knock the fire out. This playset only comes with Dusty Crop Hopper, but there are a lot of other aircraft that are sold separately that will attach to this playset. This is fairly simple to put together, and there are only a handful of pieces. Let's open the box now in fast forward style.
Oh boy, look at this mess. How am I ever going to build this? Oh, I believe I can help with that. Oh yeah? And how are you going to do that? Oh, that's easy. One, two, three, presto! Wow, thanks mysterious magical Barbie doll. Well anyway, here we go. Here's the final product. Okay, to launch the plane, you simply pull this lever up, and then push it down. And it will shoot the plane off. Dusty Crop Hopper will then zoom around the waterfall, come back down, knock the fire off the bridge, and then go back to its launching position. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Hello, welcome to Toys Review Toys. Today's video is all about Elsa's dazzling new jewelry that we're going to make out of Play-Doh. Today we're going to use some of my favorite colors. We're going to use black, blue, light purple, dark purple, and white. Let's check out what we have here today. We've got Elsa in her lovely blue dress. We've got some of the materials that we're going to be using on the right. And lastly, oh, uh, Elsa's bikini. <laughs> I absolutely love working with Play-Doh. It's so much fun to play with. And here are some of the tools that we're going to be using to make some of Elsa's jewelry. Some of the tools we'll be using today come out of this box, which is Play-Doh's Cookie Creations. To start off today, we're going to be making Elsa's bracelet using two different colors. The first one is going to be white and one of my favorite colors, blue. Let's get started, folks. Here we go. I'm going to first grab some blue one out of this blue bottle. And I'm having a very hard time opening this. I <laughs> don't know why, but here we go. All right, got it. Looks brand new. And this white one, all right, oh, good. Almost looks kind of brand new. I love working with brand new Play-Doh. It makes it really easy to work with, and it's really soft and durable. So here we go. I'm going to first grab this blue one. I'm going to roll it out. Here we go. We're going to make this blue Play-Doh kind of look like a snake almost. Grab the white one. Do exactly the same thing. It's going to be really cool because we are going to twist this together in the end. Yep, there we go. And make kind of a cool twist bracelet. Okay, now we're going to put this bracelet on her wrist, and oh my goodness, this totally matches her dress perfectly. Alrighty, it looks like it fits great, so then it won't fall off. Okay, now we're going to use the light purple as well as the white to make the middle part of the necklace. And we're going to use this heart to help us cut it out. Now we're going to take the two colors and... And then we're going to make a really cool marble design for the heart. Now we're going to use this heart cookie cutter so we can make the perfect heart for Elsa. Now we're going to make Elsa's chain with this black clay, and we're going to make a snake shape again. Uh, kids, just so you know, I actually do it this fast. This is, this is not fake at all, and so uh, with practice, you can also be just as fast as me. All right, here we go. Uh, looks like we need to make it a little bit longer. All right. Oh, yeah, this is looking great. Okay, now let's put it on Elsa. We're going to put the chain on first, so then it's a little bit easier for me, and then we're going to stick the heart chain on. And Oh, my goodness, that just looks absolutely fantastic. What do you think? This looks great with Elsa's blue dress. Now I am cutting the purple Play-Doh to make the centerpiece for Elsa's anklet. And then I'm going to grab this white Play-Doh and make pearls with it. So it can be kind of the chain for the anklet. And this is absolutely going to look fantastic. I cannot wait to put it on her. Okay, now let's put it on Elsa. We're going to do one side at a time. So here's one side. I'm going to grab the other. And then put the purple stone as the centerpiece. That looks great. Now we're going to grab this blue Play-Doh and the purple Play-Doh to make Elsa a ring. So we're going to make another snake using this blue one. And the next I want to use a purple to make a diamond. So I'm going to use a knife to help me cut it out. Here we go. It's kind of difficult, but definitely uh, doable. And then we're going to connect it. And oh my goodness, that just looks incredible. All right, now we're going to put this on Elsa and hopefully it fits. Looks like it does. And oh, that looks amazing. Should have been worn at coronation. All right, let's do an overview of Elsa's new jewelry with her beautiful heart necklace, her dazzling ring, her awesome twist bracelet, and lastly, her spectacular pearl anklet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and tell us in the comments what your favorite piece of jewelry was. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Click on a picture to watch another fun video, or click on the question mark to watch a surprise video. Have a great day. Hello! Welcome to Toys Review Toys! Today we have the brand new Frozen Fever dolls! So Elsa and Anna have new dresses and hairstyles! 
Anna here has instead of braids, a bun hairstyle and sunflowers on her dress. Elsa's new dress looks really pretty with the teal color and the pink flowers. And here are some of the tools and different colors of Play-Doh that we will use to make Elsa's new Play-Doh dress. First, I'm going to take this teal colored Play-Doh and play with it in my hands for just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab this purple roller and start rolling it out for the perfect length of Elsa's dress. And this is what it looks like all flattened out. So I'm going to use this orange knife and cut off the edges so then they become straight. And this is going to look really pretty. Elsa says she is so excited to try on her new dress. Alrighty, let's get started. So I'm going to first kind of wrap this Play-Doh around her body like this. And then kind of connect it in the back. So I'm going to connect the two edges together, make sure it's the right length. This is going to look really pretty. I'm excited for this. Alright, so that looks really nice. And then back to the front, what I'm going to do is kind of make sure it fits her hips and her legs. So kind of squeeze it like that. And then use this orange knife. And Elsa is double jointed, so luckily her arms can go like that. And we want her to have plenty of room to move her arms. So we're going to cut off some little armpit holes like that. And then luckily the other arm is double jointed, so we're going to do that again on the other side. This looks really pretty. I really like the color of this dress. Okay, so we're going to touch it up just like this, and then cut a V towards the chest area. Alright, and then touch it up one last time. This looks great! This is what it looks like all finished. So if we look in the back, Elsa told me she wanted a little swoop in the back, so we did that for her, and I think that looks gorgeous. Next, we're going to make some beautiful flowers. So I'm going to use these two different colors of pink and flatten them out just like this. Okay, that looks great, and then use this orange knife to cut out a flower petal. So I'm going to make three different flowers, two of the hot pink and one of the light pink. So there's a petal of the light pink, and let's do a hot pink one now, just like this. So it's almost like cutting out a shape of an eye, but it's a flower petal, so that looks really pretty. I have already cut out the rest of the flower petals. So first I'm going to take this hot pink play-doh and do a really big flower at the bottom of the dress. I think this will really stand out. Next, I'm going to grab the light pink play-doh and make another flower just above the hot pink flower. I really like the contrast between the two different colors. Lastly, I'm going to put a small flower right next to the light pink flower. I think this has really turned out nice. Wow, look at that dress! Elsa looks gorgeous! I mean, she could get any guy looking like that! Let's get one last look at this dress. The flowers look absolutely beautiful. They turned out great! If you enjoyed this awesome video, please like and subscribe, and tell us in the comments if we should make a Play-Doh dress for Anna! Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys! Click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video! Have a great day! Hey, this is Sandra of the Disney Car Toys channel, and today I'm taking over the Toys Review Toys channel to show you this really awesome, slightly vintage Barbie set. This is a Halloween fun Little Friends of Kelly gift set. This Barbie set was sold in stores in 1998. This set includes four different Kelly-sized dolls, including the doll Deidre, Jenny, Kayla, and Tommy. They are Kelly-sized dolls and slightly smaller than Chelsea. These dolls are each dressed up in their own unique Halloween costume. This is Deidre, and she is dressed up as a butterfly. She has a metallic butterfly suit with rainbow colors and these soft golden wings. It's adorable, including her little antenna hat, and she has a Halloween bag with cute little pumpkins on it. Kelly's friend Jenny is more cute than spooky in her witch costume. Her costume has a little pumpkin on it and a cool witch's hat, which is velvety and bendable. She also has a witch Halloween bag, and underneath her witch's dress, she's wearing just plain black pants and black shoes. The Kayla doll is dressed up as a beautiful princess. Her bun is flawless on top. She looks a lot like a Kelly doll, only her hair is more golden blonde than a platinum blonde. Her dress is perfect with a pearly pink color and gold accents, even glitter, and her shoes match her dress with a pearly pink color. The last doll in this playset is Tommy. He's one of my favorites. He's dressed up as a skeleton and he's so adorable. He, if you can look at him really closely, looks a lot like my Alex doll that I use in my videos and the Toby doll that my sister uses in hers. He comes with this cute little spider trigger treat bag and I just love his costume because it has built-in gloves and look at the little skeleton feet. Those things are so cute. 
the Halloween costume has built-in footies, so it almost reminds me of pajamas. So when he's done with Halloween trick-or-treating, he could probably wear these at night as jammies. I just want to compare this Halloween Tommy doll to my Alex doll right here. You can see they look very similar, but still different. The Tommy Halloween doll has much blonder hair, brighter blue eyes, and even lighter skin than my Alex doll. The box has one more fun thing. It has a little badge for a Halloween costume contest winner. So you can do a Halloween costume contest at home. I think it would be such a fun idea to have a Halloween costume contest. And so I'm going to do that on my own channel. But for that contest, I want some cute Halloween decorations. So we're going to use Play-Doh to make a decorative ghost and a spider web Halloween decoration. These Play-Doh decorations are super easy to make. I'm just using plastic cookie cutters and pressing them in rolled out Play-Doh. Here's the spider and the web. Let's just rip off the excess Play-Doh around the corners. And let's see how it turned out. Wow, actually it turned out way better than I thought it would. You can see the spider and its eight legs super well. And the web looks pretty cool too. Now let me roll out some white Play-Doh to make a little friendly ghost for the party. Now when you're working with Play-Doh, it's always best to use somewhat new Play-Doh because once it dries out, it just doesn't turn out as pretty. So both of these cans are only a couple weeks old. Let me roll out this white Play-Doh just to make sure it's nice and smooth. This should be good enough. Now all I need to do is press this spooky little ghost into the Play-Doh. See, these cookie cutter molds are so easy. It's great for young toddlers who are playing with Play-Doh, so perfect for maybe a two or three year old. And let's see how our ghost turned out. Let me just grab this extra Play-Doh so we can make sure it looks nice and pretty. Come on! Here he is! Oh, that is super cute. We've got a couple little corners that I just need to push in. And this is a good looking ghost. That turned out really well too. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, click on the link on the screen to see the cool Kelly Halloween costume party on my channel, Disney Car Toys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Olaf kidnaps Hans? Hey Barbie, thanks for inviting me over. Boy, this is such a lovely house you have here. Oh, you are so very welcome, Olaf. You are so adorable. The cutest little snowman in the whole wide world. Oh, uh, yeah, so cute. <laughs> well, I've got to go take a shower right now. I feel icky. I think I put too much hairspray in this morning. And if you miss me while I'm showering, just text me. I have a waterproof phone. Oh, uh, okay, Barbie. I'll, I'll text you updates on our conversation. And don't either of you do anything fun without me. Got it? You can only have fun when Barbie's around, okay? See ya! Boy, she's an intriguing one, isn't she? Olaf, Olaf, you have to help me. Please save me from her. She's absolutely insane. I don't know how much longer I can handle this. Well, okay, but what can I do about it? You need to kidnap me. If we stage a kidnapping, then she'll never know that I really wanted to leave her. If she finds out that I don't like her anymore, she'll go totally nuts. Well, you do have a strong case, but we're gonna have to make this kidnapping look very realistic. Yes, yes, please do. Since it has to look real, I think we're gonna have to knock you out. Anything, I beg of you. Anything to get me out of here. Do whatever's necessary. Okay, just count to three, and you'll go into a nice deep sleep. Okay. Okay, here we go. One, two... Oh my! I actually did knock him out! This frying pan thing really does work. Remind me to send a thank you note to Rapunzel. Alright Sven, I'm gonna tie him up, and then you have to drag him out. Hey, hey! I know, this looks bad, but let's do this. Uh, all fresh and clean and caught up on my text messages! Let's see what the boys are doing. What? What? We- Hello? Hey, where did they go? What happened? What? The chair is knocked over? Did they go do something fun without me? Wait, but the chair is knocked over. What? Hansy Poo? Where's my Hansy Poo? Olaf? What? I don't know what to do. Maybe, maybe something bad happened. Like, maybe, maybe he was kidnapped? It happened. I know. I, I know firsthand. I can't handle it. I can't take it. I can't live without my Hans. What do I do? I, no, somebody took him. Maybe that snowman. Come on, Sven, just keep pulling. I know Hans could stand to lose some weight, but you're almost there. Hey, nice work, Sven. 
Now let's take him into Elsa. She'll know what to do with him. Hey, Elsa. I uh, hope you don't mind that I brought some friends over. Oh, well, what are you putting in here? Hey, is that... Is that Hans tied to Sven? Olaf, explain yourself. What did you do? Well, I was eating dinner over at Barbie and Hans' house, and come to find out Hans thinks Barbie is absolutely crazy. So, to make a long story short, Hans wanted to stage a fake kidnapping, I knocked him out, Sven dragged him through the snow, and now we're here. Are you serious, Olaf? Oh my goodness, do you know how crazy Barbie's going to be? She's going to probably come in here and start throwing chairs again. Olaf, this is a world of trouble. Hey guys, has anybody ever noticed how soft this reindeer's fur is? Uh, kind of cute. Wow, Olaf, you didn't lie. He really is knocked out. I can't believe you did this, Hans. Hans, can you hear me? Hans, wake up. Hans, 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 wake up. Oh, he really is knocked out. What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Let's hide him upstairs in the bed. Nobody else has got to know. Okay, let's just tuck him in here, make it look all natural. All right, now it just looks like he's sound asleep. Elsa, I feel like somebody, please help me. It's an emergency. Hans is missing. I think someone might have kidnapped him. Hey, Olaf, what are you doing here? You were the last one to see Hans. Do you know who he is? What, me? me? Oh, no, I didn't know he was gone. Boy, boy that's a shame. Uh, I had to leave early, and, and last time I saw him, uh, Hans was healthy, and um, I, I had to come home and, and do the dishes. Barbie, you need to calm down. I'm sure Hans is totally fine. Maybe he went to the grocery store or something. No, he must have been kidnapped because a chair was knocked over and he never leaves the house without my permission. He loves me and we have such a healthy relationship together. Wait, wait, I hear something. Do you hear it? It sounds like he's snoring. Is he in this house? He's here, he's here. I swear I'm not hearing voices again. Oh, Barbie, hearing voices again. Oh, jeez. No, 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 I know he's snoring. I watch him when he's sleeping all the time. Barbie, stop! Okay, good. It looks like he's still fast asleep. Barbie will never quit. Is that Barbie coming? Uh-oh. It's Hans and Boots! Hans, is that you under that purple blanket? Hans, Hans, Cookie Bear? Hey, hey, are you asleep? Hans, wake up! It's your most perfect girlfriend, Barbie! Come on, Hans! Hans! Wake up! I order you to wake up! Hans, wake up! It's garbage day! I can't do without you! Come on! I'll have to stop dragging myself. <laughs> Oh, my poor Pookie Bear Hans, come on, come with me, what do they do to you? Come on, you're going home, where you will be surrounded by pink and happy. You are heavy. Boy, Hans is stuck with Barbie for the rest of his life. I kind of feel bad for him. Uh, oh well. Well, at least you tried, Olaf. Huh, she didn't break any furniture. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm in the worst headache. Oh, oh, it hurts. Why does it hurt? Oh, where am I? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in Barbie's house. No. Hi, Schnookums. I've been watching you sleep for the past three hours just to make sure you were okay and you'd wake up and you're so adorable when you sleep. Wait, what? What? I thought, I thought Olaf and, and the castle, I mean. Uh... <sighs> Oh, Snooky Poo, don't worry, you'll always be safe with me, and I'll make sure no one ever takes you ever again. If you like this video, please, please like and subscribe, please. I think if you, I think if you like and subscribe, I might, I might be able to get away from Barbie. <gasps> hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Featuring Disney car toys. Don't forget to click up top to subscribe, and then click on a picture to watch another fun video. You've got to eat your food. You haven't even taken a bite yet. And milk off. It worked hard to make it. And I already paid for it. I don't want to waste money. Yuck. I don't want to. I'm sick of hamburgers. Krista, the same thing goes for you. You've got to eat your meal. I don't want to. I don't feel like eating. You guys have been pretty unappreciative lately. If you don't want to eat it, then don't order it. You guys got to learn to be grateful. Okay, Mom. I'll make use of this. Wah! <laughs> I'm going to get you, too. Alex, Krista. Wah! <laughs> children, 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 stop. Hey, you. Wah! Alex. My nice clean food court! No! Oh, this looks so spidey fun. I want in. Stop! 
The only way I can stop this is if I use my frozen powers. Now, kids, you gotta stop this instant. Why, I'm stuck. Why can't I move? Me too. I feel like See, frozen powers do come in handy in everyday parenting. Oh man, I missed the food fight. Can you hear mom? Does not look happy. I hear mom also doesn't look happy. Uh oh. Gee, Elsa, I wish I had your frozen powers. It would make parenting so much easier. Oh, Anna, parenting is never easy, even with frozen powers. All right, kids, it's time to lay down the law. Elsa, what do you think their punishment should be? Well, we can start by cleaning up this whole area of the food plant. Ooh, I like where you're going here, Elsa. Mommy! Yeah, that's a good start, but I think we need a little more punishment. Something to make them really respect the food that they're eating. Well, yeah, I see where you're going here, Anna. How about the kids, after they're finished cleaning up the tables and floor, go back in the kitchen and help look up? You want us to cook? That's a great idea, Elsa. If they learn to cook, then they'll know all the work that goes into making their food, and they'll hopefully appreciate it. How about it, Maka? What do you think? Oh, free labor? I could totally go for that. No, Mom, this is cool and unusual punishment. Oh, I've got so many good plans for you kids. We'll put you in the washroom for three hours, and I'll have you scrub all the pans, and I'll have you scrub all the floors and all the grout, and I'll have you degrease the fryers, and I'll have you wash all the windows, and sweep everything. Oh, it's going to be so amazing. <laughs> no, crime doesn't pay. If you enjoyed this video and like to see part two, then please give us a like and subscribe. And in the comments, let us know what your parents usually do when you get in trouble. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day. We've been working in the kitchen for hours. I'm so tired. You think we could go home yet? Maybe we should ask. Hey, more guys, we've been working a long time. Can we go home now? <laughs> oh, you are so funny. No. Well, it was worth the try. All right, now I need you guys to make 15 dozen cupcakes, and you need to follow the recipe exactly word for word, or else you don't want to know what happens next. I'll be up front manning the cash register if you need anything, and please don't need anything. I don't know how to make cupcakes. I've seen my mom do it. You just have to follow the recipe. Well, that makes sense. Where's the recipe? We just have to look in Mother Gothel's cookbook. Oh, no, this book's on your shelf. I found a recipe book. This recipe book is called the Cooking Magic. I don't know what this book has weird recipes. Well, Mother Gothel is weird, but let's get started. Okay, find this a cupcake recipe. Okay, should we make traps for Mason Cherry, Revet Red Velvet, or Mystery Chocolate? No, I don't know. I like chocolate. Let's do that. Yay, yeah, let's get cooking! We first need three cups of flour. Flour, check. The flour is in. Next, we add baking powder. And here's the salt. And some butter. Some sugar. Oh, and some eggs. Oh, and remember the chocolate. The recipe says we need turtle skin. Where are we going to find turtle skin? Let's check the cabinet. Hey, I think I actually found it. Oh, this is a weird recipe. So we need a parrot type. Okay, parrot and a chuck. Now we need two spiders and the web. Okay, I think I found two spiders behind the cabinet. Okay, here's two spiders. And the last ingredient is expired milk. Well, that's gross. I'm not eating these cupcakes. 
Are you two finished with those cupcakes? Yeah, we're done, but these cupcakes are bad for you. Well, Alex, the sad thing is that most things you have aren't good for you. Now give me that. No, I mean, oh God, I don't think you should feed this to people. Ah, uh, what they don't know won't hurt them. Now I've got customers to feed. All right, everyone, try my delicious cupcakes. Oh, uh, what do you think's going to happen to the people? And make sure to click like if you want to see part three. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. And click on the question mark to watch a mystery video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Alright everyone, try my delicious cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Oh, I want one. Mmm, yeah. A cupcake sounds great. I'm not sure they should eat those cupcakes. It might make them sick. Yeah, we should stop them. Ooh, I am so excited about this cupcake. It looks so good. Mom, don't teat that to cupcake. It's bad for you. Mmm. <laughs> oh, Alex, don't worry. <laughs> this is the only treat I'll have today. It's not too much sugar. Mmm, Alex, this is so good. You really should eat one. Mmm, so tasty. Mmm, delicious. Well done, my boss. Uh, well, you know, I've been really trying to watch what I eat and keep my spiny figure, but, you know, this one cupcake shouldn't hurt. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Don't do it, Spidey. It has spiders in it. Oh, no, Krista. Don't make up things just so that you can keep all the cupcakes to yourself. You're so funny. Ew, this cupcake matches my outfit. I totally gotta taste it. Don't do it, Mrs. Barbie. Everyone stop eating the cupcakes. Yeah, you got bad stuff in him. What are you kids doing? You're gonna drive away all the customers. Mother Gossel, these cupcakes are bad for people. What are you talking about? I'm only using the finest ingredients. Your recipe had spiders and turtle shell in it. Wait, what? Oh no. Which cookbook did you use? We used the pink magic. One. Oh no, you fools! You used my magic book! Which magic cupcakes did you make? We did the mystery chocolate! Everyone, stop eating the cupcakes! Oh, I already finished mine. It was delicious. Yeah, well, Goth, you really outdid yourself. Oh yeah, that cupcake was so, so spidey good. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, this is weird. Spidey, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh man, I do not feel good. I am so bloated. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Ew, ew, I have tentacles. Ugh. And I'm so fat. Oh, my diet is ruined. There goes my spidey figure. Oh, I feel weird too. Oh no, honey, what's going on? Oh no. I'm married to a reindeer. Oh no, it happened to me too. Oh boy, I don't feel good either, and I know what's coming. Oh no. Hulk is back. No, this cannot be happening to me. Hulk married to Barbie again. No, I cannot be married to the Hulk again. His green telly clashes with my pink. Oh no, I don't feel good either. Yeah, what is happening to me?